Hi, this is Jeff Klein, editor of Radiographics, and I'm pleased to welcome you to this podcast, which will show how to review a PowerPoint submission for the Training and Fundamentals online section of Radiographics. Dr. Mindy Haro, section editor for Women's Imaging for the journal, will take us through her review of a recently submitted PowerPoint presentation, which was published in the Training and Fundamentals section of the journal. Hello. My name is Mindy Haro. I'm the section editor of Women's Imaging for Radiographics, and today it's my pleasure to talk to you about how I review a PowerPoint presentation for radiographics. This is the screen that we'll be using, which is what you would use as a reviewer, and initially you need to confirm that you have no conflicts of interest. Before I start filling in this sheet, I just want to make some general comments about this type of a presentation. As with any routine text manuscript, I find it best to review the entire submission initially without recording my comments. Often a certain piece of information that appears to be missing will be explained elsewhere. Remember, these presentations have already been vetted by several groups, including the RSNA educational panels in each subspecialty and the radiographic subspecialty panels. Thus, they are generally of high quality. For a PowerPoint presentation review, I suggest viewing it as a full screen on a good monitor with low background lighting, similar to the conditions in a reading room. The use of dark background and light text in the PowerPoint is suited to this environment. Get an overall sense of how well one slide flows into the next. Is the amount and size of text per slide pleasing to the eye and easily reviewed? Are the images, are the number of images appropriate per slide and clearly but not overly annotated? Would the text and images benefit from a corresponding diagram? Are video clips, overlays, and other PowerPoint techniques optimally employed? Is color and style used appropriately to emphasize the information, delineate the sections, and guide the viewer through the presentation? These items are specific to a PowerPoint manuscript and must be simply but carefully prepared to tell the story in a visual manner because there is no accompanying audible lecture. Lastly, as in any radiographics manuscript, the images must be of the highest quality with appropriate number and length of video clips. So, first we'll look at organization and clarity of focus. In this manuscript, the presentation is quite clear. Four specific fetal cardiac views are required and discussed, each with a photograph of the transducer on the maternal abdomen, a labeled still image, a description of the author's method for guiding the transducer, and then a video clip of the specific view you're trying to obtain. A short guide to other scanning techniques is also included, followed by a description of several major cardiac anomalies with images showing the anomaly in the different views paired with the normal anatomy for comparison. These pairs of normal and abnormal fetal hearts are a crucial element of the presentation and help to clarify the components of each anomaly and how they differ from normal. So I'm giving this a 1 out of 5. The only part, and I'll say this in the comments to the uh, authors, the only part of the whole organization that I found had a bit of a problem was the introduction. It didn't seem to follow in a quite logical order and would have benefited from numbering the major points and having indents of the minor points. Next, as you can see, is educational value and effectiveness. Real-time evaluation of the fetal heart is the most difficult aspect of prenatal imaging, and it requires a clear concept of fetal cardiac anatomy, and it takes many hours of practice. A review article such as this one is essential for a novice, and therefore I think it has great educational value. Short of going somewhere to do a real-time practicum, this type of presentation is the best preparation for fetal cardiac evaluation. The material is at the correct level for trainees, be they training in residency or fellowship, or even seasoned radiologists who are training to do this type of imaging. And so we'll give it a 1 out of 5. My only comments 
would be that all of the text was white on black. It was very simple without underlines, boxes, numbers, etc. And the authors could have considered using some subtle color elements to differentiate the different sections and coordinate the outline. Going on to the learning objectives, these were quite clearly stated, easily measurable, and fully demonstrated in the presentation. And so this is a one. As far as general interest and pertinence and, and uh, um, uh, pertinence to the practicing radiologist, I would have to say that while the majority of radiologists may not ever perform or interpret a fetal cardiac image, many trainees and some practicing radiologists will need to interpret these cases. And furthermore, the anatomy of normal and abnormal is quite applicable to fetal MR and also is useful to pediatric radiologist postnatally, and so I gave this a 2 out of 5. Regarding scientific quality and integrity, the scientific quality of this presentation is excellent. The only minor issues include relatively older references, a lack of explanation of some abbreviations, and then specifics about the fetal lie. This is actually a very significant thing for viewing such a poster, and it's because we as radiologists are used to viewing the heart in, in patients in the standard CT or MR position, and that would correspond to a breach presentation if you consider it. So conforming to a single position, preferably breach for this presentation, would overall help a viewer understand the anatomy much more easily. And lastly, publication potential. I recommend publication with the revisions I've described. I would limit the addition of any other further details about fetal cardiac anomalies. The goal of this presentation is to develop an understanding of anatomy and technique for optimal imaging. Details about incidents, associations, outcomes, concomitant fetal anomalies, etc., are covered in many texts and would only serve to make this presentation more ponderous. So I will give this a one for publication potential. Thank you very much. Mindy, thank you for that wonderful presentation. If you have any questions regarding the review of an online PowerPoint submission for radiographics, please contact our staff at rg at rsna.org, or you can contact me, Jeff Klein, editor of radiographics, at jklein at rsna.org. Have a great day.